Hey guys, this is Steve Good again with another instructional video for creating scroll saw patterns. Um, we've been working in CorelDRAW, which I know is a very expensive program and a lot of people aren't going to be able to use that application to create their patterns. And I was talking in one of the earlier videos about an open source program uh, by the name of Inkscape. Now I have not used this program very much and after thinking about the uh, post that I had made earlier, I wanted to go back and give this a try and just see what kind of features it had. Um, I'm going to take you through just a quick demonstration right now of Inkscape and making uh, name plaque patterns with it like we did in the earlier Corel video. It's not as easy, or at least I haven't found a way to make it as easy, but you can do it and it's free. And I know a lot of people need, uh, need a technique for creating uh, names and uh, word art. So here we go. Um, you can download this program and I'll provide a link below at uh, www.inkscape.org. Uh, go download this program, give, your, give it a little bit of a try, see if you can learn some from it and I'll do the same and we'll see if we can uh, make some patterns with it. Okay, first thing we need to do is get some text on the screen and I'm going to use the text tool here and again, I'm using Cooper Black and a font size of 144. And we'll just use my name to start with. Um, the first thing that I learned about Inkscape is that kerning the letters, which is actually reducing the space between the letters, which is the way I personally like to cut name plaques, um, is a little more difficult. It can be done, but it's not a one operation deal like it is in CorelDRAW. Basically, the way I found to do it is you get your text on the screen and you highlight one letter, hold down the Alt key and the left arrow key, and that will move that one letter. And you can manually kern these letters where you need them to be. Now I'm selecting three of the letters. I'm going to move over and select four. And if there's one advantage to this, it allows you to be a little more accurate with the individual letters, which in some ways might make the patterns uh, come out better. But you can see what I'm doing is I'm just going down the line, selecting one letter, and pressing the Alt key and the left arrow key to kern these letters over where I want them. And there's our finished uh, pattern. And in the earlier video, I showed you that one of the things I like to do was have a light gray pattern with a black outline. I was able to find a way of doing that in uh, in Inkscape, and it's not too bad. Basically, go down here and uh, click the uh, gray color that you want your pattern to be. Go up to Object, Fill and Stroke, and your Fill and Stroke dialog will come up. You can select on the stroke, click this button right here for flat color, and you can see now we can close this dialog box and we're back to where we were in Corel Draw where we had the overlapping patterns. And again, like I've told you, I don't like that. So I did find a way to do the same thing in this program that we could do in Corel Draw. You go to, uh, let me find it again, Union. You go to the Path menu, scroll down to the Union command, click on Union. And there you can see we have the pattern just like we did in Corel Draw. I'm able to resize the pattern. There's our word art. Uh, the next thing I need to work on is how to uh, uh, deform these patterns to give them a little more whimsy. Haven't quite got to that part yet, but in the meantime, this is a definite workaround for creating word art, and you really can't beat the price at free. So go check this program out www.inkscape.org. It's free and it's open source, so it's safe. Give it a try, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.